You know Bo. World's worst patient. Well, good. That means he'll get out of there soon. Listen, just tell him that everyone is thinking about him, and Gigi, Shane, and I will be over there to see him soon. Well, I certainly like the sound of that. And please tell Gigi that I'm so glad she's back. Okay, I will. Bye-bye. Rex loves you. Gigi loves you. Shane loves you. The whole town loves you. <laughs> Everyone's pulling for you. Everyone. Including me. It happened to you. I don't know what I would have done. Yeah. Now you know why we get so worried when you are far from home. God, I'm so happy to see you. I was always coming back, Mom. You were? Yeah, why wouldn't I? Is he really going to be okay, Dad? Good to tell me, boy. Yeah, he's going to be just fine. And when I heard that Troy MacGyver had broken out and taken you hostage... And... Oh, honey, I'm sorry you were so worried. No, I'm sorry I wasn't here. Then none of this would have happened. You're breaking up with me? Honey, what happened between Troy and myself and ultimately with your father had nothing to do with you. Mom, but don't you get it? If I hadn't gone to D.C., I would have been home when Troy showed up. Okay, I, I would have fought him off. I appreciate that you want to protect me, but this really had nothing to do with you. Dad, come on, tell her. I mean, Troy even took her to the same place he took me. Son, MacGyver's the last person you should be thinking about right now. No. No, I'm just, I'm saying that Matthew... He can't change what's happened with him. None of us can. Let's just be grateful that we're all safe and you're home. Yeah. Hey, Mr. B, you up for a visit? I didn't... I thought you were in D.C. Yeah, I was. I went to go see David and Dorian. But my parents needed me. Right. Your parents... Who else would you come home for? Destiny. How are you feeling, Mr. B? Uh, good. They say that I'm, that I'm going to be okay, Destiny. That's good. How about you, Miss B? Oh, I'm fine. Thank you for asking. Uh, these are for you. They're nothing special, but you guys have done so much for me. Oh, honey, thank you. They're lovely. Yeah, they sure are. Hey, uh... <clears throat> How about you, Destiny? You okay? Do you need anything? Oh, no, I'm fine. Destiny, wait. <laughs> I'm really sorry about our fight. Okay, I was just trying to tell you exactly how I felt, and I know that I hurt your feelings, and I feel really bad about it. Ever since I've been away, it's all I've been thinking about. Matthew, what are you trying to say? Have your feelings about this baby changed? Destiny, look, you're my best friend, okay? We've been able to tell each other anything. Now, can I talk to you without you getting all mad at me? I don't know, can you? I meant what I said, okay? I care about you. It's not just me anymore, Matthew. I know that. I... Uh... You still don't want this baby, do you? Look, it's not that I don't want it. Just say it! Okay, I don't want it. I, I'm not ready. Well, I wasn't ready either. But the baby doesn't care. This baby is on its way any day now. And somehow, a lot of other people who weren't ready either got ready. Your parents have already set up a nursery. Your mom helped me with all of my college applications. Sean, he volunteered to be my Lamaze coach. And Vivian, she's just a phenomenal doctor. She listens whenever I'm scared or confused. All my friends, Danny, they have all volunteered to babysit. Everyone has stepped up but you, Matthew. But you know what? That's okay. Because I don't need you. I will do this by myself, and I will. Are you okay? Excuse me, but would someone explain 